Good morning, everyone. Hi. I know it's been a while. So I'm about to show you a very long awaited haul that I did back in October when I went to San Francisco to visit my friends. This was actually my first Daiso haul um, when I went to Japantown. Um, and that was like on the very the first full day that I was in San Francisco. Now I had done another Daiso haul, but you'll find that on my friend's um, channel, Karamiya's Corner, or, um, well, her name is Clarissa. She took me to Daiso when I went to go visit her, uh, like three days later in her hometown. And yeah, we did some shopping and then we filmed the hauls at her house. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you what I got on my own. Um, it's been sitting in a bag the entire time and I need to start using some of the stuff. So I'm just going to randomly pull stuff out. So the first thing I have here is this adorable Puchaco pouch. Um, I think I can't remember. I think I was going to give this to my sister because it's her favorite character, but I like it. I might keep it because I can use it for um, some stuff. Like I can put, you know, my passport, um, traveler's notebook in there, things like that. I don't know. I might, I might still give it to her. Second thing here. Um, and you can see, because like I said, I went in October, so they had the Christmas stuff out. These are some Ziploc bags. Now, fortunately, I did not need these during Christmas, but I can always use them next Christmas. Always good to have, because I don't know if I'll be able to go back to visit again in October. Um, then this one right here is a spray bottle. Now, I, I have this like complicated skincare routine that I do every morning. And um, one of them involves using, well, I use a facial spray before I put on my um, moisturizer. Obviously, I um, let it dry on my face before I put the moisturizer on. But I'm always on the lookout for a very um, good spray bottle. And the only ones that I've found um, that are really good are from Daiso. But they didn't have the one that I had bought years ago from there. Um, so I'm hoping this one is going to be a much finer spray because trust me, the ones that I've bought, like the travel size ones from Walmart, you know, or Target or whatnot, those don't cut it. So hopefully this will be a much finer spray. And I like the fact that it does hold more liquid. I'll have to check and see if it's, um, you know, uh, carry on appropriate to bring. Um, anyways, um, I got this. They were selling Tokidoki. Um, enamel pins and other stuff. So this one was actually, I guess it was, well, you can see it's 440 yen, but I don't know. It was probably $4, but, um, and this was obviously put out during for Halloween. So I'm going to stick this on my Delphonics. I purchased these. I'm going to give them to my nieces. So that way when they're, you know, charging their phones, um, this part right here, won't get all messed up. I've noticed that it happens more often with iPhone than it does with Android. I don't know what the hell's going on with those iPhone cords. I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android. Um, this is one of the blotting tissue packs or blotting paper packs that I had bought because um, I still have oily skin, especially in the summertime. In the winter, it's not as bad. But these are always good to have, and I like the Daiso ones. And, you know, they're only $1.50, and you get, like, how many sheets? This one has, and this has got charcoal. I don't know how many sheets it has, but it's a good deal, you know. They're, I don't know if I have more of them in here. We'll see. So here's another Tokidoki um, pen. This one, she looks like a little sorcerer. So, yep, got that. Now... This is a compact case. Now this is really good for loose powder. And um, I do use the, what brand is that? It's not Laneige, it's not Tony Imoli. It's one of the other Korean brands, but it's like a sebum um, loose powder that's really, really good at absorbing the oil. And while the, the container is, um, it's small, this is even smaller in terms of like how much it holds. And I don't really want to bring the entire, um, you know, I don't want to bring that case. I'd rather leave that one home and bring just the travel one. And I can put just enough in here for just the trip. So I've got one already, but it has a different powder in it and I don't want to have to switch it out. Um, 
here is another bottle. Um, I think I already have this type that I might have ordered from Daiso USA when the you know when the website was still up. I didn't know that they took it down. So um, that kind of sucks because that was the other way that I could order stuff from Daiso. So we have here yet another spray. This one is even more compact. So um, I'll try this one out as well. Um, I have here an air freshener. I don't remember if I bought this or if Clarissa gave it to me, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but it's peach scented. I can't smell it through the paper, but um, I'll probably put this in my car now that it's becoming spring. This would be appropriate. Um, a friend of ours, uh, Kat, if you're watching this, had given me um, one of these before. And I just thought it was so cool because look at that. Francisco and Hyde. When I lived in, Sa in um, San Francisco, I lived in North Beach and I lived um, <laughs> off of Francisco. I don't know if that's revealing too much information there, but this is on the other side of North Beach or where, from where I lived. And so I had to get another one of these because I just love them. I just thought that was just kind of funny that it had the street that I used to live on. Okay. So here is some washi, some cat washi that I intend on um, giving to one of my nieces who loves cats. We have here a foldable comb because it's always good to have. And I love the fact that it's, you know, so compact. It's great for everyday use for travel and it's good quality. Um, we have here some washi cutters. Now these are really good because you just stick them on the washi. In fact, I am going to take it out. I have no nails, so it's going to be a little bit harder. And I just moisturized my hands and for some reason, they're really slippery. Okay. So here we go. I like these because it's a little bit thicker than, Ooh, it is different. So do I want to use that? Um, I guess I have no choice. Okay. So here's the washi. Okay. You just clip it on. All right. Let me focus. All right. So let's just say that this is where it's coming off. And so you would just pull it as you're pulling and then you would just tear along here. So if you want to get a clean tear, in other words, so these are really good. I should probably should have bought a couple more of these because it's always good to have them on hand, especially when you've got washi in particular that you you favor a lot. For me, it's always the grid ones. So I tend to have those on the grid, but then, you know, when I'm crafting somewhere else in the house, then I'm like, oh, great. I have to go upstairs and grab <laughs> the clip. Okay. So we have that. Mm. Okay. Here is another um, oil blotting, um, what do you call it, compact um, case, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one, I just, you know, picked up different ones just to try and also to have on hand because it's been a couple of years, actually not a couple of years, but 10 years since I've bought them. Okay. So I have here a cutter, a box cutter. Um, this one is a little bit bigger than what I normally carry around, but you know, when I go to the bin stores and one in particular here in my hometown, that one allows you to open the boxes yourself, but you have to do it at the, um, box tables is what I call them. You have to go to the table and open all the packages and then they have tape there to retape it back up. They also provide box cutters, but they're so dull from everybody using them. So I always carry my own. So. I always like to have at least um, something like this on hand. So we have here one of the address protector um, stamps. So when you roll it over your address, you're going to get these, this design, here, let me get closer, that design right there, which is really cute because normally, and I've got one right here, this one will just have that, this right there where it says confidential, you know, but I thought this one would be really cute. I can use that one, the one that I just bought for my, um, for my videos when I'm opening packages. Okay. So I have here some washi. I haven't been buying washi as much lately. Um, 
because I just have so much. But this one I thought was pretty because it looks like it's like clouds in the sunset. Yeah, Twilight Sky series. So I think that was one, the only one that I might have bought. Yeah. Okay. So these are little um, like page flags. Um, but you can also use them, sticky notes, what it's called, but you can use them as page flags, I think. But, you know, if you want to um, put this like on the side or cover something up and write over it, I just like the colors of this and you get a lot. Look at that. So, um, yeah, that's not bad. $1.50. I also got another one in another color another set of uh, colors i like the fact that they're all muted okay and we're getting close to the end here hold on okay so i did pick up this little tiny um to do post uh post it nice like sticky note set uh i like to use these when i'm traveling to list out the things that I've done for the day. I've finally figured out a system now when it comes to journaling, um, especially in my Hobonichis. Uh, so my A6, I like to just bullet what I've done for the day. Keep it short and simple because it's a small, you know, small space to be able to write in. And then I have an A5 um, day free. And that's where if I want to expand, because there's some days where I don't really need to write a lot. And then there's some things that happen on a, you know, on a particular day that, yeah, I want to like write about that, you know, and expand on it. So that's how I'm going to operate for 2024 when it comes to my Hobonichis. Um, and then this last one here is a memo pad, uh, which I thought was really great because it's grid. I love grid. So, you know, these are good for like, if I need to, um, Make a note and I can just glue it down because I do have the um, the sticky note version, but it's a much bigger size. I think it's like a, a it's probably A6. Yeah, it's A6 size that they also sold, but I featured that in the other haul with Clarissa. So um, I only got one of these. And I believe that is it. Yeah, there's nothing else left in this bag here. Oh, well, I did get a shopping bag but it still has all the stuff from the other <laughs> haul and I need to start putting all that away. But it was a really cute travel themed bag. It's yellow and I can always reuse that. So yeah, so this is my um, Daiso haul from Japantown in San Francisco back in October. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next vlog or, or not vlog, but <laughs> video. All right, bye.